Welcome back, everybody. I'm joined once again with Becca Lawrence from the Lloyd Minster and Community SPCA. We're here for another episode of Pet Project. And Becca, you've brought on a uh, little bit of a local celebrity because she has been all over your guys' Instagram as of late. Let's introduce her. Who is she? Yeah, this sweet girl here is Quill. So she, we, we got all of our little zoomies out here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, this here is Quill. So when she first, first came in, she actually came in with a face full of porcupine quills. So that's kind of where we got her name from. And, uh, but I mean, even if you look back at her post, even in her porcupine filled face, she was happy and smiling. So this sweet girl here, she's just, she's always happy. She just loves to be with people. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, she's, she's great. Like we don't know why she's still here at the SBCA. She's beyond friendly. I, like we even like if with new volunteers, things like that, like we recommend her over puppies. <laughs> like That's how easy she is to handle. And she just wants to give kisses all the time. I was going to say, you can hardly get a word out without her trying to give you a big smooch on the face. So, yeah, no, she's just she's a fantastic dog. Like you, you can tell Mimi in the past, she hasn't like been taught much for tricks or anything like that. But she makes up for it in affection, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, a sweet dog like that might be really good, you know, if somebody does have kids, which would be, yes. you know, really nice to have a dog like that that doesn't bite, he just gives kisses. You love it, right? And yeah. Uh, yeah, Quill does certainly just look like a sweetheart. So obviously, if anybody <laughs> out there is interested, please call in, go check her out. Oh, she's so adorable. Let's just take a minute to appreciate <laughs> that cute face. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I know. <laughs> Perfect. And so we were talking a little bit off of camera, Becca, but you guys are coming up on tax season, which is kind of important for anybody out there who has made a donation to the SBCA in the past year, because yeah. obviously you guys are sending out your receipts now. So uh, well, let's just touch on that a little bit here. Yeah. So that we're, I'm just gathering all of my information now and I'm starting to write them all up and I'll send them out and email and all that good stuff. So make sure you're, if you're waiting on it, you check your emails if you gave us your email or your mailbox. But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're getting that going just so everybody can get their receipts. And just to obviously we're so appreciative of everybody donating throughout this last year. It really meant a lot to us. So we're, we're just, yeah, looking forward to getting that out and getting that done and then starting on some uh, more events that we hope to have this year. Yeah, which is a, a great little segue there, Becca, because you were mentioning that you guys are planning some new events coming up for the start of the year here, you know, to get the fundraising, getting the ball rolling, so to speak, for the 2022 season. So without giving too much away, I guess, uh, what do you guys kind of have planned? What can we look forward to? Yeah, like, I mean, every year we always do something for um, Valentine's Day, almost at Halloween, uh, for Valentine's Day, whether it be, you know, kissing photos, things like that. But uh, we're, we're kind of hoping maybe we can do something with our little puppies that we have here in our care. Because that'll be right around the time that they are ready to go up for adoption. Or, and, uh, and hopefully get some, get some people interested in these babies and get them into their forever homes. Because they're, they're taking up too much space here and they're far too cute and we all want to keep them. So we need to find them their homes. So keep an eye out for that. And then, um, yeah, just we have a PetSmart adoption event coming up here at the, around the end of May, or uh, sorry, around the end of February. And so, yeah, we're going to be doing fun stuff for that as well, too. But, yeah, something just uh, nice and easy things to get the year started. <laughs> Sounds like we have a lot to look forward to this year with the SPCA, which is great to hear. And you did mention, too, those puppies are going to be going up for adoption around Valentine's Day. And, of course, it's never a great idea to get somebody a pet as a gift without consulting them. But it's pretty uh, coincidental timing, perhaps, if, you know, you and your partner have been talking about getting a, a dog. And, you know, this might be the perfect time to do it as long as you discuss it beforehand. And it's not a surprise yes. on February 14th. Beautiful. That's right. Well, real quick, Becca, before we go you know I always like to ask if there's any specific item donations that you guys need you know if there's anything you're really looking for around uh, the SPCA this week so is there anything we can put out there into the community um you know just obviously again with our puppies we're still always trying to keep up with them um, even our one mama she's not a huge fan of feeding those babies anymore uh, so we are actually starting to put a KMR puppy milk in with their food just to make sure they have those nutrients and keep growing big and healthy and strong. 
Uh, so, I mean, KMR milk, I know it's expensive, but I mean, if anybody or a group of friends wants to chip in for one, you know, the vet clinics always have it. Uh, we've had some at Pet Value, Pet Smart, whether it's the canned milk or the powdered milk, we're happy with either. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, puppy wet food, things like that, and uh, even some wet cat food as well, we go through pretty quickly. There you go. So obviously lots of things that you could drop off if you're in the market for it or, you know, a cash donation always helps the SPCA as they can just go out and pick up the things that they need themselves, which is always good as well. But that is unfortunately all the time we have for this week, Becca. But I want to thank you. I want to thank Quill for being able to sit still long enough to say hi. Yeah. She's so excited. She wants to play. So we'll go ahead yeah. and let you guys get out of here and she can go and, and uh, you know, have fun around the SPCA. Go say hi to the other pets the other people so thank you again guys and we'll catch you again next week for sure see you next week thank you